Ho, ho, ho. Yep, Christmas time again. Well, it's almost Christmas time anyway, and it's time to start making some things with your CNC if you plan on selling them to people before Christmas. So I'm gonna show you the one project I'm gonna spend time on this year because, well, my shop is a mess with a lot of projects. So Rudolph and I, say hi, Rudolph. So Rudolph and I, we have decided to make one special project this year. Santa mug. All right, so what Rudolph and I are making is a decoration just like this. This is a little sign that you could put on your porch or you can hang it from your chimney. You could have it inside the house by the fireplace, not in, wait till after the Christmas if you're gonna put it in the fireplace. But it's a great decoration. You can have it right inside the front door and it just has a little star on top. It says Merry Christmas, a little painted edge, green on the back. Now this sign, I made mine on my Onefinity CNC. You can make it on any CNC. Um, you don't, in fact, you don't even need a CNC machine to make this. You could cut this out with a jigsaw and just paint Merry Christmas on it if you're handy like that. I'm not, that's why I have a CNC. I'm not that, paint me. Mm, this was hard enough. So, simple project to make though, and they'll sell. They're very cute, according to my coworkers. <laughs> yeah, very cute. And Merry Christmas from me and Rudolph. Let's make a little sign. All right, so here we are. We are in VCarve Pro uh, Vectric software, and I'm gonna show you quickly how I made this. It was simple. I'm taking two boards that are 48 inches long and 11 and a quarter inches wide, and I'm gonna stack them together on my CNC. So I put a line right down the middle here to show where that, where that would be. And then I created another guide down the middle here to show where center is on each of those boards. I started with creating the Christmas trees. And what I did is basically I took four triangles, layered them on top of each other. Then I went into node mode. So if you just press N while your tree is highlighted, you can move the nodes around. I just kind of moved these so it looked like they had little curves instead of straight lines like triangles are added a little touch to it. Uh, if you press N, you can escape that mode. Then for the Merry Christmas, I mean, I just went to text here and I just typed Merry Christmas. I just typed an N and a return, E return, R return, until it said Merry Christmas up and down. Stretched it out till I thought it looked nice. Made sure it was down that center line so that it fits on that board perfectly. Then I went to the star. In order to create the star, I went to the star mode where is it right here and I created a star I created an eight point star and then after that was created I went into node I highlighted it and I went into node mode again and I just stretched I grabbed a node and I just stretched it to the point where I wanted it and uh, that's what you can do it's pretty simple node node mode is great not not a lot of people use it but it's a great way to fix projects and get things the way you want and then once I had one of them created i just highlighted all of them i copied them and made an exact copy right below in this one so i didn't have to do it twice or the exact copy and put one on each board there's probably a more efficient way to lay these out by nesting them or something i just kept it simple like this this is just how i wanted it all right so from here created all the tool paths so to chamfer the edge, I use a 60 degree V-bit. To make the star, it's gonna be a 60 degree V-bit. And then for the lettering, I'm gonna use a 90 degree V-bit. And then to cut it out, it's a quarter inch end mill. Pretty simple. As far as timing goes, this here is estimating it to be a 44 minute and nine seconds time frame. I think it probably will cut it a little faster than that. But this is just estimated from Vectric for my Onefinity. So that's, a, that's about it, it's pretty simple. I'll show you what they'll look like. We'll give you a quick rendering here. Uh, let me reset and preview all tool paths. And there it is, that's what it'll look like once it's all cut out. 
I'm pretty sure these will sell great. I'm going to take these plans. I'm either going to have, I'll have them on Etsy. It'll be a couple bucks on Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description. If you're interested in buying them, they're pretty simple to make. But if you don't want to spend the time making them and trying to perfect it, a couple bucks, you can have the plans and make as many of these as you want. So I like to keep it cheap. I want you guys to be able to make money. So I want to make a little money too with this. That'd be great. So if you buy the plans, I appreciate it. If not, make your own. Way to go. Uh, they're pretty simple to make. All right. So let's go out to the shop, see how this thing turns out. <laughs> 